What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm filming on my phone today because genius me picked up my camera and realized I didn't charge the battery. Then I put the second battery in and I didn't charge the second battery either. So today we're filming on my phone. So I'm currently in Rhinefield and today is the day that I'm going to get my eyebrows microbladed. So today is the day that I'm going to get my eyebrows microbladed. I'm just doing a real quick intro now because I'm actually running late. I'm at my auntie's place now and she's going to take me to the place because I have no idea where the hell this place is. So we're on our way now to the salon. I was supposed to go but then he decided to take me. Um, and then she put a an aesthetic on my eyebrows. So I'm going to have like double triple anesthetic so I really won't feel anything hopefully. The lemon cream on for okay. about 45 minutes. So we have the lemon cream on now. Um, I'm slightly nervous. So that's the dark brown, that's the black. Oh, I think the black. Yeah. Is it? Uh, it's okay, just a little sting. Not bad, eh? Yeah. I'm trying to test you. Oh gosh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can sometimes be a bit more sensitive on the ends. Mm -hmm. um, the skin is a little bit thinner. Eh? There's my brows, guys. Well done. No, I'm joking. That was actually painful. Just a little bit. Hi guys, so don't mind. Oh my god, my battery. Are you serious? Okay, let's see how long this battery lasts because the other one lasted a good five seconds. Anyway, so I it is day uh, So I got my eyebrows microbladed on Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday. It is day three of the healing process I only realize now that I have not been doing any updates because I've been really forgetful. Just a quick update on how the procedure went because I didn't really talk much about that. So the procedure went well. Um, I wasn't happy with the shape at first but then she changed it and always make sure that you are happy with the shape that your artist has um, drawn on your face for you because you know you're going to be stuck with these brows forever. So um, the procedure itself was good the only thing is that i have a little bit of a resistance to anesthetics so i think we went and put like three or four times of um numbing cream over my eyebrows and it kept wearing off so quickly so i actually felt the blade cutting through my skin more than apparently you should but um it wasn't as painful as getting a tattoo so um that didn't really bother me so much i think the only thing that irritates you or just gets to you is the sound of you know your skin getting cut by the blade it's like a like and you know it's like a uh, unloving pain um also don't mind my terrible makeup and stuff it's actually just after work now so i look a bit run down um so after the procedure was done um my 
eyebrows were very swollen obviously you just had a blade cut through you it was very swollen and it was like tingling a little bit but nothing major nothing that you can't handle it's it's less painful than waxing let's just put it that way so first two days my eyebrows were super super dark like i actually kind of liked it so dark because it made it looked a bit bolder um but obviously for work it was a bit too much so i had to start putting eyeliner on for work so it kind of just you know two dark black lines on your face kind of tied in a bit so the first two days were very dark you can't get your brows wet for the first seven days that you have it it's kind of like the healing of a tattoo so washing my face and getting having a shower was a little bit of a mission i have not washed my hair yet because i have no idea how i'm going to do that but um the first three days so far have been good today it is oh, let me actually show you a close-up of what my brows are looking like okay excuse my terrible rundown makeup so if i pull this down you guys can see like very slightly the lines that are drawn here yeah, there you go you can see there my battery is going to die again let me let this all charge and then i'll probably be back again let me go charge my shit <laughs> okay hi you guys it is now the next morning and i have a fully charged battery this time i need to get ready to be leaving for work but i thought i'd just give a quick uh finish my update real quick so today's day four my eyebrows are really really itchy now um the biggest challenge has been trying to make sure that they do not get wet so when i go and shower i'm actually taking my shower cap and putting it on my head but i'm bringing it down to like halfway on my eyes here so that my eyebrows don't get wet and then i hop in the shower i am really quick in the shower and then i jump out again so i think that's the biggest challenge making sure it doesn't get wet but they are starting to crust in the mornings when i just take my finger and i slightly do this um they starting to crust off i i do put aquaphor on them to help with the itchiness and just the dryness a bit but so far so good i can see where it's peeling it's going to be almost non-existent eventually because i did bleed a lot apparently um which obviously just pushes the ink out a little bit so i can't wait for that touch up but my touch up is going to be in like six weeks so um yeah so that's just day four so far so good i like how they look now i wish they would just stay like this but they have to crust off and get lighter and then get dark and then go for the touch up and then go through all of this again so we'll keep you updated so uh let me get my ass to work now okay bye hi hi how are you yeah okay good to know um i wanted to just give a quick update on what's happening with my eyebrows so it's been two weeks okay almost two and a half weeks now through the healing from the initial procedure i'm happy with them but i'm also like eh, because they faded a lot how you see it now is actually it filled in um the nice thing is that when i do fill it in i don't take that long because i'm not creating a whole new shape because i kind of have the shape there already where i have the ball spot is filled in but it's not as dark as i'd wanted to because i did say that i did bleed a lot so it pushed out a lot of the ink but yes what's wrong eyebrows are healed they did scab a lot i actually didn't film it where it was scabbing because it was like ugh. it was pieces of my eyebrow coming off so uh what day was it i think by day five by day five it was scabbing and it was so itchy i just wanted to like but I just kind of pressed and then pressed around it. Um, I did not get it wet for the first week. But after the second week, after it stopped scabbing, I just carried on as usual with my usual routine. I didn't worry so much about getting it wet. Um, they not so bad now. I do have my touch-up still coming up in, I think, two, two, two three weeks. Don't mind that. Um, but you can see that I fold it in a lot. Okay, I filled it in front a lot. Over here, not so much. It's mostly just my arch that needed a lot of filling in. So I think when I go for the touch-up, I'm going to ask her if she can add a bit more of an arch for me. That is where it caught really nicely. You can actually just see the ink strokes. So it caught really well over there. I hope that after my touch-up, the rest 
focus hello i'm here just wait for it to figure out live there you go so i do hope that after the touch up it will catch exactly like that as well and i'll have a bit more of the shape there but so far so good i am happy um i think in the next update that i give you guys i'll make sure i'm not wearing any makeup that will be just before the touch up so yeah okay that's that's the update for now i'll see you guys just before my touch up which for me will be in the next six weeks for you will be in the next six seconds okay Hi guys, um, this is after the touch up. I didn't really get to talk much um, when I got there because I was actually a bit late. Let me set up. I look like a potato. Um, when for the touch up, it was the same procedure. Put the numbing cream, except she put the numbing cream for less time and it was a stronger anesthetic this time. So it wasn't as bad as last time. Um, so it lasted a bit longer this time. So I didn't have to sit with like the pain. But it's actually a nice pain. It's like, you know that nice pain when you get a piercing or a tattoo it's kind of like that um so just remember from the first session to now i don't even know when was the last update that i did on video my brows faded a lot from the first session to now before the touch-up she said that she didn't go too deep because she was scared that i was in too much pain um but this time she went a lot deeper and she added a lot more strokes if you can see okay so yeah, she added a lot more strokes. I asked her to focus a bit more on the top so you can see. I don't want to touch it too much. And it's the hair strokes are a bit more prominent, I guess, compared to the first time, if you can see it. So the aftercare for this is the same thing. Can't get it wet for seven days. Uh, mustn't touch it. Uh, just put Aquaphor, no makeup on it. But it is Diwali tomorrow, so I'm going to have to put some makeup on. So she did say that some people do require more than one touch-up. It just depends on how your skin kind of takes to the ink. So if it fades a lot faster even after the second touch-up, then you might have to go for a third touch-up. I'm hoping that's not the case for me. Uh, it's rounded in front because my brows are growing that way. But usually when I style them, I brush it upwards so that they put square in front. So that's why I feel like I look a bit different than usual. I can't wait to see how this video is actually going to turn out since I've been filming for a whole month. But let's um, let's forward seven days later when the seven day healing process is done, shall we? Yeah. Hi guys. So it is now a very, very, very long time after the last update. So I'm filming this about two months after my initial procedure. Um, so i've had a lot of time now and i can definitely tell you guys my final verdict of getting my eyebrows microbladed so the dishwasher is on so if you hear weird noises in the background it's my dishwasher um it's very loud i think between the fridge and the dishwasher i don't know which one's wanted i'm gonna just be really honest and i'm not gonna sugarcoat things and you know, and I'm not bad mouthing, I'm not gonna bad mouth the salon, the people who did it, whatever. This is just my personal opinion and how the microblading went on me. And I think I've had more than enough time to come up with a final um, conclusion to this entire video now. This is just how I feel about how my procedure went. It'd probably be different for everyone. Who knows? Maybe I'll go for another touch up one day and you never know. Okay, so first things first. The initial procedure was good but it didn't catch at all you guys saw i did show a little snippet just before i went and did the touch up that it completely faded as if i did nothing to my brows so it only caught in one place which was at the bottom here which wasn't the place i needed you know to catch it was mainly here and like giving my eyebrows some nice shape like you see in the pictures um so i was very disappointed with that but also uh, my anesthetic did wear off very quickly because I am immune to those so she didn't go deep enough because she thought that I was going to be in pain and I'm not going to lie it was it was kind of sore it was just like like scratching at your skin you know um, yeah so that was for the initial procedure then the healing process was fine 
the scabbing was fine everything went as normal but obviously it just faded really quickly then when we I went for the second uh, procedure so the touch-up is the exact same procedure as the first one which is why I didn't film it with you guys on camera because it would have been kind of tedious I'm trying to make this quick so this video isn't super long and boring <laughs> okay now um, after the touch-up I was in love with my brows they looked so good um, because I have a bald patch over here and it's like funnily funnily it's growing funny this side so I loved how my brows looked for the first seven days of doing the touch-up and then it started scabbing as usual but but it caught better than the first time because obviously she, because obviously she went much deeper with the blade this time but it still faded so basically my eyebrows pretty much faded to completely nothing so it looked like I had never gotten my eyebrows microbladed it's not what I expected I think I had a really nice expectation um, from seeing other videos and maybe I was looking at pictures I won't lie I am a bit disappointed at how it ended up now today two months later looking like nothing was really done let me go take all of my makeup off so I can show you guys just before I close up this video what they look like without my eyebrows filled in so you can get a better idea of how they look now okay and I'm back but that's a that's some transition hey um so this is my eyebrows now anybody else hate when you get pimples in the completely wrong place on your face anyway let's ignore that so what i do like about my eyebrows is that this one is shaped so freaking perfect can you see that it's got the square it's got the arch and then this one is still rounded but i've learned to accept that that's just how my hairs grow so in the arch over here, end of the year, can you see that it has not caught at all? There's one slight little line there. And then it just didn't catch. It just did not catch anyway. Okay, you can see slightly here and there the lines caught. Um, but obviously not as much as I would have hoped. Then if we go on top here, you can see it caught nicely over there. But then again, you can also see that the lines never really follow through, if you know what I mean. So, okay. so if we go underneath here, it caught lovely over there, but not as great on top. Do you guys see what I mean by this? Okay. Then also over here, it caught, but you can see how light the lines are, that it actually looks like... I never did get the eyebrows microbladed. Same on this side. Um, we don't have much over here. As you can see, there's like one line that caught down there at the bottom. Okay, and then again here at the top, we have a few lines that caught quite nicely. I was happy with that. Um, my ball spot is actually over here but it kind of shaded in which is totally fine and then again at the bottom here it caught nicely so so from that i'm sure you guys can see kind of what i mean by it caught here and there but not where i expected it to and for the amount of strokes that she did in my eyebrows i would have thought that more would have shown i hope this kind of helped any of you thinking of doing microblading so if you want to do it do it but make sure that you do your research you know how your skin might catch on it if you've gotten a tattoo then you might have a bit of an idea but my tattoo caught pretty darn good so i think it's just maybe the pigment that they use i don't know <laughs> i'm sorry that this video was kind of all over the place but um i did this to try and get out my opinion and my experience with this microblading and i hope that i managed to do that properly so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up the thumbs up will really really help you guys and don't forget to subscribe and make sure you follow all of my socials down below and hit the little notification bell because i am uploading twice a week for the month of december so at least this way you get notified every time I upload a new video. So, and I will see you all in my next video. Adios amigos.